Hey guys, John Rettinger, guest editor for PocketNow.com, here with a hardware review for you of the just released BlackBerry Storm. So let's go ahead and get started. Move the camera down so you guys can see the device. I'll go over and run over some of these specs with you. Lengthwise, the phone is 4.43 inches. Widthwise, it's 2.4 inches. Depth, 0.55. And clocking in weight-wise, it's just 5.5 ounces. So it's a little bit on the heavier side, but definitely not bad. It's, the phone is highlighted by four hardware buttons across the top. You've got your green send key, your typical BlackBerry menu button, a back button, and an end and power key. On the left side of the device is a user programmable soft key and your micro USB charging port. On the right side of the device, you've got a 3.5 millimeter headset jack, which is always nice, volume up and down, and another user programmable key. The back of the device, you've got a 3.2 megapixel autofocus camera with flash, which is actually really nice. The camera does take solid pictures, and it also takes video as well. And the back of the device is actually metal, and it's got a kind of a neat release mechanism for it. It's got these two latches on the side, you can actually push them and the whole back pops up, and the back is actually metal. So while that's nice for build quality, it does make the device get a little bit hot. So keep in mind for that. Go ahead and pop that back on there. All right, moving on to the front of the device. Here is your speaker with an LED indicator, microphone on the bottom, and on the top you've got a lock button and a mute button. It's actually a very neat feature. So to lock the phone, you just pop that, locks it for you, put it in your pocket, unlock it, you hit the same button. Now when you look at the BlackBerry Storm, the first thing that you notice is its gorgeous screen. And the screen on the BlackBerry Storm is a 480 by 320 uh, color display capable of showing over 65,000 colors. And it's got a light sensor on it, which is kind of neat. So similar to, let's say, the iPhone, it'll adjust for uh, ambient light. Battery life on this thing is Verizon's estimating standby time of 15 days and about 5.5 hours of talk time. It's got 128 megabyte of flash memory inside of it, and it comes pre-installed with an 8 gigabyte micro SD card to augment its 1 gigabyte onboard flash memory. So let me go ahead and give you guys a comparison of this with some other devices that you may be looking at or maybe even looking to replace. All right, so for better or worse, the Storm is going to first draw comparisons to Apple and AT&T's iPhone. So here they are side by side. You can certainly see that the iPhone is a little bit bigger. Let's put them on top of each other here. Size-wise, you can see the Storm is just a little bit thicker. And it's also a little bit narrower. So relatively close in size, and it's certainly a pocketable device. The phone that probably most people on Verizon will be replacing, the BlackBerry Curve. And right on top of each other, almost exactly the same dimensions on top. Width-wise, very close. Stack them this way so you can see. Almost identical. Another phone you guys may be looking at is the AT&T and Samsung Epix. So here they are side by side. Epix is just a little bit bigger, stacked on top, almost the same size, and width-wise, pretty close to the same size there. Now the other BlackBerry that's at the top of RIM's lineup is the BlackBerry Bold, released on AT&T's network. So here they are side by side. This one certainly doesn't have a touchscreen, but does have a full tactile accordion keyboard. So the Bold is just a little bit longer. On top, it's also just a little bit wider and also just a little bit thicker. Let's go ahead and give you guys a bigger comparison here. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the hardware review of the just released BlackBerry Storm. Be sure to stay tuned for Pocket Now for a full review and some of the software of it. It is a very cool device, and I have really enjoyed using it for the past day and a half. But I'm going to save all my opinions, good and bad, until the next video. So be sure to stick around and stay tuned, and check out PocketNow.com. Right, guys, I will talk to you soon. 
Bye.